This video is going to be about finding the greatest common factor using a factor tree. So let's look at an example. Over here I've got 27 x to the third minus 36 x squared. And I want to factor out the greatest common factor in this binomial. Well, the variables, the x to the third and the x squared, won't present a problem. But let's say I'm not sure about what the greatest common factor is going to be with my 27 and my 36. What I'm going to do is create something called a factor tree. And that goes like this. I'll take the 27 and I'm going to divide it by any number I know of that I can divide into 27. And I'm pretty sure I can divide 27 by 3. So dividing it by 3, I get a 9. And I can check to make sure I'm right so far because 3 times 9 is 27. I can't divide the, 20, the, the 3 down anymore. There are no more factors of 3 other than 1 and 3, and that won't help me. But I can break the 9 down into two factors. 9 is 3 times 3. So what that means is my factors of 27 are 3, 3, and 3. So I'm just going to write them over here. 27 is the same as 3 times 3 times 3. Now my other number was 36, so I'm going to make a factor tree for the 36. Well, let's see, 36 is even, so usually when I have an even number, I divide it by 2. It just makes it a lot smaller. And dividing 2 into 36 is going to give me an 18. 18 is even, so I'll divide that by 2. And I get a 2 and a 9. And then 9, as I saw before over here, can be broken down into 3 and 3. So writing all my factors of 36, I would have 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now remember, I'm looking for the greatest common factor. So common factors would be, they both have a 3 in them. And actually, they both have two 3s. So 2 3's, or 9, will be my greatest common factor. So I, that means I can rewrite this 3 times 3 times 3 as 9, my greatest common factor, times 3. And this 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, I'm going to write as 9 times the 2 times 2 is 4, so it'll be 9 times 4. So now I'm ready to go back to my problem. So here's my 27x to the third minus 36x squared. I want to pull out the greatest common factor. And as far as the coefficients are concerned, I know that that greatest common factor is 9. Looking at what I had down here, that means I'm going to be left inside the parentheses with a 3. Doing the same thing with the negative 36, the common factor was 9. I know I've got a negative here, and 9 was nine, 36 was 9 times 4, so I'll put in my negative 4. And now I've got my coefficient taken care of, my coefficients, and all I've got to do is deal with the variables. So I've got x to the third and x squared. I'm looking for the smallest exponent, and that's what I'm going to pull out. So I've got x squared. x squared divided into x to the third is x x squared divided into x squared is 1, which I'm not going to bother to write since I have a negative 4 here already. So I'll just make my parentheses a little closer, and this is going to be my factorization. And as we've done before, we can check this by multiplying it out to make sure it's right. So 9 times 3 is 27. x squared times x is x to the third. 9 times 4, negative 4 is negative 36. Then I've just got an x squared. That's the same place I started, so this factorization will work. I know this seems like a lot of work, uh, but basically if you think about it, it's just a bunch of little steps. Be careful as you go through the steps, and you should be fine. Let's do one more. So here we have three terms, 18a to the fourth b plus 30a minus 42b. And once again, the variable shouldn't be hard, but I've got an 18, a 30, and a 42, and I want to find out what the greatest common factor is for them. 
So let's just write those. 18, 30, and 42. Let's start with the 18. So factoring that out, I'll divide it by 2 since it's even. That's going to give me a 9. And as I saw in the previous example, 9, nine is 3 times 3. So my factors here are going to be 2 times 3 times 3. For the 30, which is even, I'll divide that in half. That'll give me a 2 and, let's see, a 15. 2 into 30 is 15. 15, I know that any number that ends in a 5 or a 0 is divisible by 5. So let's divide that by 5. And that will give me a 3. 5 times 3 is 15. So these three numbers, 2, 5, and 3, will be my factors. So 2, I'm going to write them in numerical order, 2, 3, and 5. And now I've just got the 42. So 42 is even. Let's divide that by 2. 2 into 42, let's see, 2 into the 4 goes 2 times, and then 2 into the 1 goes 1 time. 21. Uh, I can't divide it by 2 anymore. Let's try dividing it by 3. So 3 into 21, that's good. 3 into 21 goes 7 times. 3 times 7 is 21. So my factors for the 42 are going to be 2, 3, and 7. So now looking at these, I see that every one of my, of my factored numbers has a 2 and a 3 in it. What that's basically going to mean is my common factor is 2 times 3, or 6. So instead of 18, I'll have 6 times 3. Instead of 30, I'll have 6 times 5. And instead of 42, I'll have 6 times 7. And now I'm ready to go back to the problem. Okay, so let's see what I want to do. I'm going to factor a 6 out of each of these numbers. Six factored out of 18 is going to give me, I can check down here, it's going to give me the three. Six factored out of 30, well, six times five is 30. So this will give me a five. And then let's make a more room. I've got a negative. And six divided into 42, well, six times seven is 42. So this will be a seven. And now let's look at the variables. I've got a to the fourth, a, but no a here. So I can't factor the a's out. So this will go back to being a to the fourth, and this will be an a. Let's look at the b's. I've got a b here and a b here, but no b in the middle. So I can't factor the b's out either. So this then is going to be my factored version. As it turns out, the only thing I could factor out of this was the six. Okay. So just to review the process, if you don't know what the, common, what the greatest common factor is when you look at your coefficients, write a factor tree out for each coefficient, and then look at the results of the factor tree and see what factors they have in common. Whatever factors you have in common, multiply those together. In other words, the, like the 2 and the 3 over here. And that will give you the greatest common factor. The number you have left, like the 3 or the 5 or the 7, will be the number that remains in your polynomial. Okay, so that's how to deal with a factor tree. Hope this helps. See you next time.